what is the mission today? Well, I've had a bit of a cold, um, and at my parents at the moment, mum's done an operation, which all went well. We're going to be putting the sound deadening stuff on all the exposed metal. So hopefully we're going to turn that ding 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 into something a bit more do do do. Yeah, that's the plan today. I'm going to start with these back doors, then work my way to the side panels and the roof. Actually, I'll probably do the roof before I do the side bits. Yeah. And I'm not doing that thing. I hate that thing. That thing. No. Stop doing that, people. <laughs> That's my eyes and my head. So everything is, like I said, new to me. So these were screws. I worked that out. Philip screwdriver. Took them out. Then there are these things here. And they just sort of... You sort of pull them. Like that. I don't know if they unscrew or not, but... Yeah, look at that. And then you just pull them. And I assume that's how this will loosen and come off. And we'll put some deadening behind that as well. Yeah. I'm learning something new every day. And <laughs> this is all my tools that I've ever had. It's pretty much spanners and screwdrivers just packed in there for years, just there. They might be useful now, though. Okay, I think they just sort of just pop them out like that. They look like this. I thought they were screws when I saw that head, but I don't think they are. Right, so that's how it all comes out, like that. Put them back in after, I guess. is inside the back of the van. Um, what's that there? That, what's this? Is that a lock? What does that do? Mm. Someone will tell me in the comments what that does. That's got to be in there, it's got to be some kind of lock from the inside, maybe? Don't know. Right, let's see how this deadening looks then. So, what I bought, you get 80 of these stick on pads. <laughs> I mean, they're tiny, aren't they? Um, I mean, how much deadening do you really need? You've got a cake the old thing. There's going to be insulation there, and there's going to be a wrap as well. That's going to minimise a lot of it. So I think this is just to take away the the fud. We'll see. Don't say no different. We'll see. clean as well.
massive mould and mildew blaster. I'm just going to spray on the metal before I do the other bits. As it is, build up condensation. I'll spray it now just to try and kill anything that might be there. Let it dry. That's why I'm doing this side now. While that's drying, I'll carry on stickering this side. I'm going to spray the ceiling as well. Uh, because that condensation building and little black dots are probably dirt, but they're going to be safe and sorry. Uh, and then we'll do a comparison to see if, if this sounds less deadened or more than as this one. See me? Yeah. More like a full force, this is. But it takes away that tinny. doors as well, like down here. It's a lot of space in it. I know you're going to fit it with this stuff, you're going to put insulation here as well, and you're going to vapor wrap it. Yeah, you can't it, so it's probably insulated, but that's a big old space there. It's a shame you can't use that for like storage. Stuff with insulation. The plan, put that cover back on, and then I'll get one of those either netted storage things that you just screw in, and it's just like a net to put stuff in. One side on the other side, one of those folding tables that's flat, it's popped up. So you can put your cup in that. Obviously, not on this angle, <laughs> your cup be going fine. So, yeah, I think that might be the idea for them bits like a little folding table and like a net. Storage here, maybe you can get storage on the back here. Just try and utilize, utilize a bit more space. So, we'll have one more here, maybe one there. We'll stick a couple in here, uh, maybe one more in there. And then I think that'll be the doors done, and then we'll start on the ceiling quite a bit. And maybe this side. See how the time goes. People say you can put them in a the bonnet as well, under the bonnet on the metal there. We'll see. Wheel arches, maybe. I might need another box, but we'll do what we can for now. Can you come say hello? Yeah. Can you come say hello? Yeah. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Yeah, you are. Can we stay up? Obviously, no. But now there's a bit glue from it. What the hell are you doing? Put them over there. They stay up for the next week or two. Look, already they're not sticking. It's going to be a week before the other stuff arrives. It goes over this. Insulation on the top of it, and the vapor stuff all glued and stuck down. These should just stay there, shouldn't they? Should be no issue. Pull away through the pack, you get a of these things, and you get this roller. So I'll put them on all the back doors and doing the ceiling there. The only thing I'm worrying about these being on there. Because I'm not going to have the insulation on top of that yet, and it's just going to fall off the condensation. We will see. Yeah, they come in this plastic bag. These ones might be slightly better. The others are all loose, and I'm sure, like, the yeah, air's got parts of the corners, so the sticky is probably not as strong. Just don't know over the next week, them just sitting there exposed like that they'll fall off due to the temperature changes and um, we'll see I'll put the boards back over them for now I need to get the thermal insulation over that as soon as possible maybe even glue it on some parts I think that's what's needed just to keep them on there and the ceiling 
We'll see. We will see. I was just thinking. Because the smaller door at the back has now got the deadening on, the only thing to go back on it would be the the plywood and that whatever that black stuff is. So I might as well see if I can fit it with some of this fleece. And then that back door for instance on its own would be done, apart from obviously doing the vapour wrap afterwards and the carpet, but you know what I mean. I've got the Dead Easy Eco Feel Fleece by Dodo Mac. They do like three versions. They have like a premium, pro and so I think Dead Easy is their like budget one. Ten meter roll. Never done this before. Don't know what it's like. for that panel bit on that door but probably gonna need another roll of this it's 10 meters if I'm doing the ceiling and the sides not doing the floor yeah we'll see we'll give it a go and then we'll carry on with that dead in there just want to see how it works behind this panel yeah two rolls I think of this. It's gonna be a lot of sort of cutting bits, filling in gaps. Um, especially in these bits. And if you're stuffing it in, you're gonna be using like four times the thickness. That'd be just a waste wouldn't it? Or not. We'll see. So I think maybe if I cut a section off just to go down here and here, just to complete the width, that'll be it. And then the whole screw, the board back on top, and that would be the insulation for that bit, I guess. And did you put it on this bit as well? No, you don't, do you? Or do you? <laughs> yeah, you do, didn't you? Yeah, that works. A bit more here, a bit here, and then we'll have a full bit of insulation there. Get it down here today as well. Yes. 
Yes. Yes. Why are you so nervous? Huh? Are you? Well done. You're getting a bit brave, aren't you? You seem scared and nervous or anything. Why are you so nervous? Hmm? Why are you so scared of everything? He wouldn't even come out here for the first couple of hours. Very sensitive. Scared of everything, noises and bags, things moving. Oh yeah, very jumpy. Mm. Yes, done well. You did indeed. That was good. Mm. Yes, yeah. Indeed. Yeah, and I can't play you your toy yet. Not yet. Yeah, gotta do this. Yeah. Yeah. You done? You done? You done? Space, look, the ball was here. I don't that much space around the ball. Too much space. Too much space. Yeah, the ball. This stuff, this process is done. Just can't be slow, dude. You can say you can tear it, but you get loads of dusty fibers. Don't really want that. Just cut it slow. It's a pair of outsole scissors and they're cutting fine, so. This has just been placed and wedged in. Um, there'll be a board back over the top. There's like wires and connections here. I don't really want to glue it and block stuff. And there's crevices here. We'll have a look, but yeah, here I've placed it as well. This one's glued. This one's glued. Um, might try this bit of ceiling. Um, and then eventually try and get these sides off here before I do the next bits. Four bolts for this half. One down here, one down here, and two at the top. Here and here, take them out. And then, what are these called? Wrenches or 
whatever they're called. One of these. And then now that should just come out. There we go. So uh, we are half the bulkhead clear. Which frees up some space. I haven't took this one out yet. Because it's part of the seat belt for the middle seat. And I don't know how to take this apart yet down the bottom, but I also will have to reclassify it as a two seater because it will fail the MOT. So for now, this one behind the driver's seat can stay. It's only half. Um, and now this will be clear. And <laughs> um, yeah, take care.